Welcome to Specific Love. In our yard, we have an old birdhouse. I mean, it's been there for years. It's kind of dilapidated. This thing is starting to fall apart. If you look at the roof, it's starting to separate, and I'm sure the birds get wet every time it rains. And if you look at the front, well, the door, because of the wall separating, is probably almost useless. So for this project, we're gonna be building a brand new cedar birdhouse. This thing is awesome. It's simple to put together, and I'd love to show you how. So come join us. Now for this simple project, I'm gonna be using a bunch of scrap leftover cedar. These are all pickets that I'd cut down from previous project. But if you want to, run to the store and buy you one six foot full size cedar picket and you can build this entire project. Let's do this. Now for my project, I'm primarily gonna be using a miter saw, but you can also use a circular saw or a jigsaw to complete this project. Now our first piece is gonna be the back of the birdhouse. If you're using a full size picket, make sure to start at the bottom. We're gonna measure up 12 inches and make a mark, send it over to be cut. Now I want to cut out the sides. I need two of these at 10 and a half inches. Now on both of these sides, I need to cut an angle for the roof slopage. So I want about a 15 degree angle. I'm going to cut this on a miter saw, but if you don't have a miter saw, you can use a speed square. Find the corner that you want to be the top. You want to angle along these degrees here, which the 15 is about there. Angle it up, take your pencil, Draw you a line, and then you can cut that out. Now on each of your sides, we need to create a little vent at the top. So we want to come down about a quarter of an inch from the peak, draw a line straight across, and we're going to cut both of those at the same time. Now that we have the back and the sides cut out, we want to cut out the front. To do that, we need to take one of the sides here, and we want to measure out and cut as close to this bottom edge as possible. Doesn't have to be perfect, but we do want it pretty close. Now that we have the back, the sides, and the front together, I want to put the sides on the front face of the back. In other words, it's gonna be a little bit narrower in here than it is the width of the actual board. So the front that we just cut is gonna to be too wide because we want it to be able to open and close. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the two side pieces, then we're going to line them up on the edge right here. And then we're gonna draw a line knowing exactly how much we need to trim off. Now be very careful if you ever try and cut wood long ways on the miter saw. It's not really set up to do this. The blade and everything is set up for cross cuts. So this can be a little dangerous. Just be forewarned. See, now that we have the front cut out, I need to cut out the bottom. To do that, we're gonna line the front piece up as a template towards a piece we're gonna be using toward, on the bottom here. Line it up nice and smooth, make a mark, and that'll be cut into width. Now, to get the depth of it, we want to put the front right on top of the back piece. Take the piece you're gonna cut, line it up with one of the side pieces, and draw a mark. And that way you cut here and here. Now you can test fit it and your bottom with the back and the front stacked on top of each other should line up with the top. That lines up pretty good. And just remember, it doesn't have to be exactly perfect. Birds are used to having nests in trees which are getting wet all the time. So if this has a little tiny leak, not a big deal. Now to prevent any water buildup, I am gonna nip off all four corners just right on the edge just to prevent any kind of water buildup and a way for it to drain. Next up is creating the roof. Now, for the roof, I would like to incorporate the factory cuts on the top of the picket. So it'll sit something right in there. We want it to have about an inch and a half to two inch overhang that'll protect the hole and when the birds are getting fed. And so we need to take that and cut this right about like so. But we also need to incorporate this angle here. Remember this was about 15 degrees. So we need to cut this at about a 15 degree angle so that it'll sit pretty much flush against that back piece. A quick way to measure this out is if you lay one of the sides on its side, put the roof where it's gonna be, and then you can easily mark about where you need to cut it. Now once you had the roof cut out, there is one other option you can consider possibly getting some copper flashing or some other type of material you could put on the top and make the roof stand out. For my build, I'm just gonna keep it as is, so it just completely matches the rest of the birdhouse, but if you want just a little bit of a different look, 
consider this. Now it's time for assembly. I'm going to be using some exterior one and a quarter inch screws so that I can easily take this back apart if I ever have to. First off, we need to remove the front because we don't want to accidentally attach it. And then we can go about assembling everything. I am going to pre-drill everything just to prevent any cracks. You don't have to use screws. You can use nails, glue, whatever you'd like. It's also a good idea if you have some clamps to clamp these together. And that'll make it a little bit easier. You don't have to worry about everything moving around on you. Now to secure the bottom in place, but also limited the amount of screws needed, I do have two in the back, which won't be as seen as easily. And I'm gonna put one on each side, right near the front. That will have four total screws and hold this bottom securely in place. Now I'm gonna put four screws into the roof to hold it in place. I've also got it clamped. It's not always easy to clamp an angle, but if you do it lightly and carefully, it'll hold it nice and secure enough to add those screws. At this point, it's a good idea to test fit the front door. And mine is just a little bit tight now, so I'm gonna have to remove just a little bit on the sides. But you don't wanna remove much. You still want it to be a really snug fit. That's much better. Now the birdhouse is really coming along and looking great. But before we add the front, we need to do one very important thing. That is to drill the hole. In this case, this birdhouse is gonna be primarily for bluebirds. So we need to be pretty specific on that hole. In fact, we need to drill a one and a half inch hole. And I'm gonna do it with this Forstner bit. The reason why is that bluebirds are easily picked on and killed by larger birds. So drilling it only one and a half inches allows them to get in and out, but it also prevents the other birds from getting in to harm them. So let's drill that hole. And remember, it's a good idea to have a board on the back that you're going to be drilling into to prevent any blowout and to clamp it down to prevent it from moving. Another thing to be aware of is that some animals, some predators will peck out or dig out the entrance of this hole to make it bigger so they can get in and get to the babies. We want to try and prevent that. There's a couple ways. One, you can add a metal ring around here and attach it to the front. I don't have one that big, so I'm going to take another piece of cedar and I'm going to drill out a hole this big and cut a square out to fit over this probably glue it in place and that way it'll be a nice thick entrance and be less likely for them to get inside. And that should work out quite nicely. Now we're gonna put a little glue on the back and then clamp it down for just a few minutes. And make sure you're using type three glue so it's waterproof. Now we're gonna set this to the side and give it just a few minutes to dry. Now that that is dry, we have positioned the front in place. We have left a little bit of a gap right here for two reasons. One, it'll, in addition to the side holes that we have, will allow the birdhouse to vent. And also as we pivot this, which will be pivoting at the top, it will allow it to have a little clearance and won't run into itself. Also, by doing that, we give a little bit of a grip down here on the bottom, so when we do need to clean it, it gives us a nice little pull to get easily inside. And to make hinges for the door, we're just adding a couple nails on each side. Even though this right here is a tight fit right here at the bottom, over time, there's a good chance that these two side walls will separate a little bit and this can be just too loose. And as the birds are using it, they could easily fall out. So we're gonna create a little latch down here just using an additional nail. And we're gonna bend at 90 degrees and it'll hold it nice and secure. The nail is gonna block the door, keep it from coming up. And then when you need to get access, swing it out of the way. Open it up, shut it. Swing it back. Now the great thing about this birdhouse is you can actually mount it a couple of different ways. I left a little additional room up here at the top. So if you're mounting it to a wall or to a fence, you want to drill a hole right through here at the top and use a screw or a nail. Same thing, you have to lift this, open it up and drill another one down below. So you have at least two fasteners holding it securely. In my case, I'm going to be mounting it from the bottom. I have a pole already out in the yard with a holder on it. And so I'm going to be drilling some screws in here and positioning it nicely and firmly but like so. So let's go do that.
Now this birdhouse turned out awesome. I love the projects that you could go in your garage or your workshop and build something in an hour or less. And this is definitely one of those. So I hope you get a chance to build one of these. If you'd like to see some of our other projects, I'll put a link to those in the description below. I have a ton of different things I've built over the years. So make sure you check some of those out. I'm sure you can use some of them. Otherwise, get out in your shop and have fun building.